Okay, we were working on setting up quadratics with some word problems, and these particular problems were giving you guys a hard time. So I'm going to go through two different examples of these problems and see if we can't help you. Okay, number two is our big nemesis, so let's read through it. A rectangular pool measures five yards by six yards. A concrete deck is constructed around the pool. So here we've got a picture. Five by six is our pool, and we have some concrete around the outside. The deck and the pool cover a total area of 72 square yards. So the whole thing, including the deck and the pool, is 72 square yards. Okay, that's important. So is the five by six. I'm going to circle that. How wide is the deck? Well, in our picture, we have the deck labeled the width of it is X. So what we need to do is get some dimensions for the outside of the pool and the deck together, because those are the dimensions that create the 72 square yards. So let's try to figure this out. Okay, this distance right here is five, right? Because it's parallel to this one. So this one's five, and then I'm adding the deck to both sides of it. So if I kind of draw it down here, this section is five, this section we don't know it's x and this section over here is also an x so that's an x plus a 5 plus an x so what's that two x's plus five so that width is two x plus five now going the other way the longer direction i have this dimension right here is six so let's label that as six then we know this section is an x and this little section down here is an X. So I have an X plus a six plus an X. So that's two X's plus a six. And that gives me a length times a width. And a length times a width gives me an area. So we're gonna set this equal to the area of the whole thing, which is 72 square yards. Now we stop with the geometry concepts and we start working on our algebra skills. So let's FOIL this out. Okay, 2x times 2x is 4x squared. Outer, 2x times 6 is 12x. Inner, 5 times 2x is 10x. And 5 times 6 is 30. So there is our FOILed out um, quadratic. Now let's combine some terms and bring the 72 over because we have to solve it now. So we're going to bring our 4x squared down, and then we're going to combine our middle terms, so plus 22x. And then I'm going to bring this 72 over with the 30, because they're my constants, and that gives me negative, what, 42 is equal to, and that side's 0. Okay, so now I have a quadratic in descending order. Now what I need to do is I need to factor it. Okay, so, so let's start with a GCF. We can divide everything by 2. So let's divide the whole term by two. And I'm gonna to switch to some more paper to give us some more room. Okay, so now I've got two x squared plus 11 x minus 21 equals zero. So I just divided that last term by two. Now I've gotta factor it, so let's see. I use the rainbow method, or I multiply a times c a times C gives me negative 42, so what multiplies to negative 42? That has a difference of 11. Hmm, I've got 1 and 42, nope. 2 and 21, nope. 3 and 14, ah, uh, bingo there, there it is. So it's a positive 14x and a minus 3x, minus 21 equals zero. And now I'm gonna factor by grouping, so let's group the first two. Factor out a 2x, and that leaves me with x plus 7. Factor out a negative 3 out of the back. That leaves me with x plus 7. And so I'm going to factor out my x plus 7s, and I'm left with 2x minus 3. Now my students should already know how to factor by grouping. We're just reviewing. Now once you get down to here and it's factored and set equal to 0, we set each factor equal to 0 to find our two solutions. And the first solution is negative seven, and the second solution is a two-step equation, add three, and then we have to divide by two, so x is three halves, and negative seven. Now let's go back and apply it to the word problem. 
Okay. Okay. How wide is the deck? How wide is the deck? Well, is the deck negative seven yards? Or is the deck three halves or one and a half? Well, it can't be a negative, so I've got to throw that one out because you can't have a negative length. So it must be a foot and a half, or actually, in this case, a yard and a half. So the answer is 1.5 yards. And that's how wide the deck is. Okay, so that's how you set up these problems. Hope this video was helpful.